What's up guys, it's Jonathan with One Big Impact. So really quick, I wanted to talk to you about like a quick cooking tip. So when you change to low carb, there's some things that you can have, some things that you can't, and sometimes you randomly stumble over things. So six ounces of ground beef mixed up with two tablespoons of, where is it? Of course I put it back in the fridge, right? No? Yes, right there. Two tablespoons of the sugar-free, right here, the sugar-free stuff, sugar-free G. Hughes Smokehouse. It's only two carbs, and it literally tastes identical to Sloppy Joe's. I couldn't believe it. It was like a total accident. I randomly put two things together yesterday. Try it out. Check me out on YouTube. One Big Impact. It's right up there. Right up there. It's the same name. Go click it. Check it out. Be stronger than your excuse. What's up guys, it is Jonathan with One Big Impact. So really quick, okay? I haven't really done a walking you through my food video in a while. So I'm obviously on day 22 of Atkins induction phase and I'm at 26 pounds loss. So pretty exciting, it feels really good to be back on track with Atkins and everything like that. Not that I was off track, but it was I was having a really hard time trying to cut weight and I ended up just buckling and going for it um, had a couple people call me say I had a dad bod and this and that and it was really hit me kind of hard um, and a couple people had mentioned some things that kind of rang true and I realized that I wasn't on track as much as I thought um, and I was having a difficult time the lifting was doing great the running was doing great um, but unfortunately my food was I was lost in meal prepping and I was doing it, but I was just confused and having a hard time. So hopefully to clear up some of that information for you guys. Um, I actually just finished my meal prep. As you can see, these six individual bags. Now you can say whatever you want. I don't do my dishes. <laughs> my mom does my dishes. So in, in hopes to help reduce the amount of dishes, I use a lot of plastic bags and like disposable containers. So. You're gonna come over here and I'm gonna show you exactly what I'm eating throughout the whole day. And I'm actually changing meals, so let's go check it out. Okay, so really quick, um, I'm gonna tie some of these up real quick. And this is my, my literal meal prep. It's pretty simple, simplistic. I'm not about like having, plus it's a pain with all the different meals that I'm doing. I'm doing lots of dressings and stuff right now. I don't buy reusable dressing cups because I know damn well I'm gonna lose them and, and just end up buying them over and over. I do have Tupperware and I use them on some of my lettuces and stuff like that. But let's take a look. Where am I gonna put these? Let's not put them on the floor. That didn't make much sense to do all that, did it? Okay, so here's the day. All right, so I'm not really going to show you, let me show you everything real quick first. Um, I do have a shake this week, it's kind of different. I use a lot of these little disposable cups. For the whole package, I can show you, the whole package at Walmart, you get 50 of them. It's like $2.67, so it's pretty, pretty cheap. And there's my two cup orders, yeah, I'll just use them. I'm probably eliminate using like two or three tough orders and be kind about it. All right. So, where's my chicken? Ah, this is a non-chicken day. I have to add chicken to this. I forgot. There's two meals. Um, maybe I should have grabbed. So there's going to be six ounces of chicken. In addition to this, I have to go get some chicken. But um, this is what we got. So, in no particular order, like how I'm eating right now is just making sure that I'm eating every couple hours. So I have my veggies are here. Veggies, I have nuts, I have mushrooms, and okay. So breakfast basically consists of this. Two eggs, two uh, hamburger patties, which comes to five ounces, six ounces roughly. Um, aroma tomato, and basically whatever else I feel like throwing in. 
Um, I could do like some mushrooms. As long as I have, you know, some healthy fats in there, I could throw in. And to be honest, I really don't need healthy fats here because uh, the, the, the hamburger meat, I did the fatty hamburger meat, so there's plenty of fat in there. So then I come in for my snack and I'll probably do like this and two tablespoons of hollandaise sauce. So my like cucumbers, that's a quarter cup. And then I'll come to lunch. Lunch, I try to hit the, so this is arugula. I've actually never tried arugula. I'm actually pretty scared of it. It smells like freaking pepper or something. I don't know what the hell it is. And then a quarter cup of green, or a half a cup of green beans. And then I'll pair that with probably like six ounces of chicken. Obviously you don't see anything as far as uh, dressing or fat. So I'll put on like two tablespoons of um, what I'm doing right now, let me show you, is these two dressings, in case you want to use this, uh, Italian zesty salsa and then like a vinaigrette strawberry white balsamic. And I do stay in ketosis with this meal plan, so I've had no issues right there. Um, so I'll throw one of those up there, that's two tablespoons. And then I got another snack, so probably I'll do this protein in here, not the olive oil but the protein and then like a cheese, a fat. And that'll be probably around six, or not even six, like four, 4 p.m. And then here I will do my six ounces of chicken for dinner, probably with two tablespoons of almonds, sliced almonds, uh, the two tablespoons of the Italian dressing. I'll do a tablespoon of butter with that. And with the chicken that is not pictured here, the six ounces of chicken, I'll do the two tablespoons of, and I'm sure you've seen it, uh, Tasha posts this one a lot. This is gonna be the sugar-free barbecue sauce. Um, it only has two carbs. I'm very diligent about making sure my stuff weighs out. I don't play. Um, if it's any off at all, I will not touch it, okay? Because, oh, and one more thing I gotta show you. Okay, so apparently it's two things. And I talked about this the other day, but those of you who are new here, by the way, check us out on Facebook. Our group is called Healthy Living for a Healthy Life. I'll put a link in the description below. I'm drinking a one of these every day, okay? One to one and a half. And that curbs my sweet tooth, to be honest. Um, my weakness has been sweets, like ice cream or cake or anything like that. And then the other thing I do is about a quarter cup to a half a cup of the sugar-free vanilla with two large cups of coffee in the morning. Um, I haven't really been craving anything. The other day, I craved a little bit. It was like, but I was only craving something that was still technically pretty on track. It was actually sugar-free Jello. I ended up saying screw it and went to bed. Um, I didn't want to go to the store because I feel like once I was already there, I was probably going to make bad decisions, so I didn't go. So here's how it goes, real quick. Now that we split everything up, that I probably should have done prior to making the video. So hopefully you can see everything. Can you see everything? If you can't, I'll pull you, let me pull you back just a little bit. And right here. So for breakfast, we got aroma tomato, two eggs, um, any way you want to do it, like a quarter uh, cup of sauteed mushrooms. And I weighed them after. If that ends up calling, causing me any problems, I'll probably put it in the comments. Um, two hamburger patties like regular small hamburger patties that come and they have to just weigh like five to six ounces then i come into my snack and obviously this is in the morning before i don't start eating till about noon my first snack is probably going to be this guy with these two um, my lunch is going to be something like this guy here okay pretty light lunch maybe i'll save one of these for lunch and then the vinaigrette so I'll actually put that in there now, so I save space. Um, and then I'll go into my snack. I actually like the fat snacks, meaning the uh, cheese and stuff like that, and the olive oils. My olive oil will probably be on one of the other meals. I just have it in here because it tends to leak a lot, and I don't want it to be all over my food again this week, like it was last week. And then dinner, six ounces of chicken, two tablespoons of the sugar-free baby back rib, blah, 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 barbecue sauce, some uh, butter, the almonds, the two cups of romaine is what's gonna be in here. Hopefully, 
you can see that I got a celery stock in there as well and then we got all our sauces and everything so hopefully that covers everything so we covered everything hopefully you guys don't have any questions if you do things like and I know it's dirty this is like a freaking war zone right now this guy has been my best friend okay um, it's been the most reliable uh, food scale that I've ever had and I use measuring cups like freaking crazy I'm gonna put a link in the description below to some of those I'll also put this in there because you know what helps me listen to really positive stuff this is a speaker and I'm not gonna turn it on but it's super loud and it's great to be mindful but also listen to I was listening to like some motivational stuff uh, stuff about like impulse control you probably saw me just share that um, different things that are related to like self-discipline as far as eating or just in general because I'm bipolar and I really struggle with a lot of impulsive activity and stuff like that so listening to stuff like that or it could even be like rain sounds something to mellow you take advantage of this time to try to dive into your whole existence and feel better about it so if that video helped you please pound that like button comment below uh, what you're doing what what currently you're following are you gonna follow what I just showed you it's up to you guys have a beautiful day remember check us out on Facebook healthy living for a healthy life we have an amazing group of amazing family members and we just nominated another 26 moderators so now we're up to like 29 30 some odd moderators so really big things coming um, if you have any questions please shoot me a message if you want meal plans let me know. I have four week plans, eight week plans, and 16 week plans. Have an awesome day, guys. Be stronger than your excuses. Remember to spread love, not hate. Drink your damn water and stay on track.